All right, recording has started. Welcome everyone to Google Season of Docs office hours. Here's the tentative agenda and, whoops, not that one. Let's try this one. Okay, can everybody see that agenda okay? Yes. Great, all right. So I've got uh, on the pull request topic, mark comments slash ongoing review is one, one for me. So I've got, maybe we'll put it as a sub bullet, uh, PR1 install guide. As it turns out, Zenup, I need to install Jenkins on a Kubernetes cluster on Minikube, and so I'm going to follow your install guide precisely. But while doing it, I found some things that we need to discuss. So that's that's and your timing is perfect. Other agenda topics we should review. So PR, or, and it's yeah, forgive the the other PR is the doc skeleton. Any other topics you'd like to put on the list, you know? Um, yes. So, uh, I don't know how to summarize this. Chris made mention of um, something about um, putting all the files we're using in the documentation in a folder. So we can always reference them in the documentation. And I think that's a good idea. So I'd like to discuss, us to discuss um, what section of Jenkins or I will we can put um, this file, like um, Jenkins value file, um, service file, and all that. So did my typing catch, capture Kubernetes samples files? To be are these to be included in documentation or are they for reference? Tell tell me more about those. I I hadn't read the comment yet. Okay, um, it's for reference. So um, say for instance, section those sections where I um, put uh, copy the contents of this um, copy this content, put it in a file. We just add a link to that particular file on Jenkins.io so they can actually see what the structure looks like, what the YAML file looks like exactly. Because um, for some issues, for some people, there might be issues with copy and paste and all that. Right. Good question. Okay, so, so basically what we've got then, okay, so topic is on the agenda. We'll, we'll get to that on the agenda. I like that. I think I understand the topic. Anything else we need to put on the agenda? Oh, um, I'm looking, I, maybe for me, it's like thinking about when are we going to start um, getting some of the reviews, I guess, merged? So early, because I know that we've gone over a couple of them. Um, what do we consider to be um, like complete? I guess to Good, or should, good is there like a staggering release too? And then is there like a blog post that will go out about season of docs at the same time? I, I don't really know if that is part of this as well. Okay, good, very good, good question. All right. So did I capture Kristen in the in the proposed agenda? Sorry, yes. Okay. Anything else that needs to go on the agenda for today? There will be run as user 1000. Good, okay. Any other topics to put on the agenda? All right, then let's start the, the agenda. If we discover other topics, we'll, uh, we'll bring them to the, to the front and discuss them.
So I have pull requests. First PR, I've started reviewing the install guide. Um, what I found was it, there's a hint that CW may not be using the make run command. Let's see how the text appears. It's a, it's a helpful trick. Which, which are you developing on Windows, on Mac OS, on Linux? Which, which platform are you developing on? Okay, she's on, she's on Windows. All right, so let me take the action item to uh, Mark, send a link to a video on how to develop for Jenkins.io on Windows. Um, Oleg, Oleg does it all the time. I use Linux as my, my Jenkins.io development platform, but run from a Windows computer all the time. Uh, I think we've got a recording of it. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah, and there will also be, actually, that's a good one. Um, the when, this Wednesday, uh, there will be a webinar that includes a session by Vlad Silverman on using Make Run with Jenkins.io. So if if I don't get it by before before. Wednesday, I'll just send you a link to the recording of the webinar. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. uh, anything else from others on the install guide? I think it had already, Kristen, I believe you've reviewed it. I think Marky had reviewed it as well. So I think I'm the last reviewer and then we're gonna merge it. Okay. Next PR, uh, Doc Skeleton. So this one I have not looked at. Um, others I think can have given you feedback, Zenob, but I believe it's pending the merge of the first PR, isn't it? Yes. Okay. And are, is the merge of either of these PRs blocking your work, Sinop? I apologize that I've been so slow on getting to the first. Um, so I'm able to work on my end, but I'm just holding back on opening another PR so it doesn't get confusing with so many PRs. That's why I've not opened another. And I agree with that. You should too. Two PRs in flight is already probably one too many. This was the right approach because of the slow review process on the process on the install guide. Let's let's finish those two. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Anything else on the pull request before we switch to next topic? No. Not for me. Okay. Location for the Kubernetes sample files. So, okay, so I let's see if I can bring one up to, to look at. So this is like a value.yaml file. That's the kind of thing that it is. If we look at the PR, for instance, this one right here. In the files changed. There's a reference here to service of values dot yaml. So ah yes. So for example, here it is. Here's I think an exact example of the concern. Kristen, is this the place that you were or the kind of thing where hey, copy from this sample file? Or should it be? Is, should this be in the documentation? Yeah. So um, this is an example. So um, for the value five, we have that on the Helm chat official Jenkins Helm chat site. So this might be better. But for something like the service account, um, 
for something like the deployment of YAMU file where we're not using Helm or an operator, those files, yeah, exactly this. And so the, the, current, the current use model for the user is they mm -hmm. will open this page, right? And they'll, until we get it restructured, they would click Kubernetes, they'll have to go find that section Exactly. And they would then have to copy and paste. Copy, yeah. Having... And, and that's that's fine for something that fits on my screen. But now if we look at at the example here, this does not fit on my screen. And yes. the odds are that I'm going to make some mistake like I just did now <laughs> and miss the first character or the last character. So like, OK. Is is that the the concern then? Yes. And where do, where do we put that file? Okay. Good question. All right. Because it, it's an excellent it, it's a, a case of a good example an example that we need to to we need the user to be able to read and use and get get value from it. Yeah. How where do we What, what if we, I wonder, what if we tried putting it as a separate file here, separate file, and then import it into this so that, so that we would only have one copy of the data and we could point them to the file in the, in the Jenkins.io actual source tree. Would that be okay? I, I guess Marky and Kristen, give me your opinions on what do you think is best for the reader of this? What's what's their experience going to need to be? How do we get them a copy of this file in the best way possible? I have in Kubernetes the way we do it is we will link to uh, a separate folder where the actual YAML will be. And do you display the content of the YAML inside the page or you just link to the separate folder? We just link to it because of that, that exact reason is when somebody copies and pastes, if it's off page, then they're going to miss it. And we have found that that generates more inquiries than we have an, <laughs> volunteers to support the, uh, that influx. So it's easier just to link. Okay, so then, so then basically we would make this, we would make this, this word, for instance, right here, Jenkins essay.yaml into a hyperlink. And it would just Correct. be a hyperlink to the, yeah. okay, I like that. Xenos, and you just make that, a, what we also do in Kubernetes is, uh, and Spinnaker is we will say, we'll put a little blurb in the doc that says, this is the link to this code. Like you're letting them know, as opposed to, because sometimes they'll miss the hyper, they'll miss the link as well. And then they'll still ask the question like, where's this code? I like okay. that. Marky, would you be willing to provide us an example that we could put into this? Provide an example of the page from Kubernetes or Spinnaker that shows how they do it? Because I think, I think that sounds like a great idea. It won't be an exact apples to apples example because we're using Hugo in uh, Spinnaker and Kubernetes. Oh, yeah. But you'll see the linking and, and get an understanding. So yes, I will provide that. Yeah, and, and I wasn't I wasn't thinking in terms of source code. I was more thinking just point a, a hyperlink to a page that has that as text that so I can see, oh it looks like this and this is how the user views it. Yep, I'll provide that shortly. Excellent. I like that. That sounds really good. Love, love borrowing ideas from other projects. So Zenab, does that address your question there? Um, it addresses the question of how, but not where, where to put this folder. Ah, okay, got it. All right, so that's the how. where to place the data. 
composite three. And I assume that these things don't make sense to place them inside the Jenkins Hamel or the Jenkins uh, chart repository, right? These are really examples that we need to be able to edit and modify more frequently than we would want to modify the chart itself. Is, is that a safe assumption? I would agree that that is yes. not where we want to put them. Okay, so then, then these really probably do belong in the Jenkins.io repository. I would say yes. Find... Good, okay. So let's go see if we can find a place that makes sense. I, I don't know how we've done examples in the past. So we've got I saw something about tutorials. Um, okay, so I think tutorials are in doc tutorials. So we could we could certainly put them put as creative subdirectories here. Yeah, a Kubernetes a Kubernetes subdirectory here, something yeah. like that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And that that seems perfectly reasonable to me. I don't see any other obvious place where I'd say, oh no, okay, let's see. No, that's yeah, I don't see anything else obvious where I'd say, ooh, this looks like a place where we've done examples elsewhere. So it was tutorial, it was doc, tutorials, yeah. and then a, a subdirectory of that. Yes. And is it okay if I call it a subter Kubernetes? There. Yeah. Marky and and Kristen, does that strike you as okay? So the we would one. actually be referenced. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Because it just be again, especially with YAML, like <laughs> I'm sure Marky, like you dealt with issues where people copy and paste and it's just like, you know, the indentation didn't take it take to the right, right level. <laughs> yeah, it's like we, we never know. <laughs> yes. But we have this folder. Right. Well, and in fact, that's that's a very good point, Kristen, because mm -hmm. in reviewing the install materials. There are times when in order to indent things in terms of a numbered list or something like that, we end mm -hmm. up using leading spaces, but mm -hmm. leading spaces can be significant in these YAML files. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Very good. All right. Uh, and the same holds for the value files, right? So really they're both the same, same technique applies. Excellent. Okay. Anything else on Kubernetes sample files? Okay. Um, so that means we are going to be working on this now before we match this pull request, since this change has to do with the first pull request. I couldn't, couldn't this also be done as a subsequent pull request. I mean, we could That's take fine by first, me. totally. Yeah, I at least I don't object to a to this not being yet. But we get the if if the second PR is ready to merge, and the first PR is ready to merge. I don't think that this change needs to happen inside either of those, unless there's something where ZNB you'd say, oh no, this PR will be the second one will be much better if we do this. I, I'm okay Nothing. with that being a later. I think it's fine. So we actually pushed some content out. Okay, great. And update as time goes on. Excellent. Okay, anything else on location for the Kubernetes sample files? Okay, next question then. Timeline for merge reviews and completion. Right, so I think we might have already covered a lot of this because I was kind of wondering what we were planning on doing with the order of the PRs or like 
making sure they have enough reviews and when we were going to deliver. Um, I, the other, I guess the other point that I had was about the, yeah, that was kind of, but it kind of been answered, which is good. I'm very happy about that. Um, I guess the other, the last remaining outstanding question in this section would be about the blog post. So I know for the Google Summer of Code, um, each coding phase, the, the, we required them to have a blog post kind of about what happened. I don't know if this was something that, I, it, this is a completely different you know, program where it's just, it takes a lot longer and we're already doing a lot of writing. But I didn't know if there was also some, if we were going to do some sort of requirement or like talk about where, I, I, this is so bad that it's like we're X number of weeks in or like something, it's like done these different sessions, we've been doing this, it's kind of like a awareness um, for what's been happening. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, it, this might I, be a thing where we throw it out to everybody, see if it makes sense. If it's too much more writing or like extra work, maybe not. And then we just continue on. But I didn't know if it was a good chance to give a highlight of the awesome work you know, that you've been doing and also to um, maybe get some extra eyes, I get like seeing the, the good stuff that you've been doing, and especially for yeah. the getting started guide. See, I, I, my thought, I like the idea. I was thinking, what if we had a very brief one paragraph or two paragraph blog post from Xena that said, hey, read the new install guide. Yeah. And it was just a link to the new install guide. Hey, here it yeah. is, Kubernetes. In, or, or we, if we can stand an extra day or two before the blog post, we refactor, we rework the install page to use, so I rework the install page or Marky reworks it, somebody reworks the install page and we get uh, it restructured so that she can point to the new page and it points to the restructured page and says, hey, we've made it easier to read, simpler, and it's got Kubernetes in it. That sounds really great. I think that's a very good idea. Yeah, awesome. I, I, like, I like too that, it, yeah, it's like it doesn't really need to be like a massive thing. I like the being, the highlighting that Hey, this install page looks really great now. <laughs> and it has extra information about the Kubernetes. I, I like that a lot. Great. Okay, so let's let's if if everybody's okay, I'm going to take that that action item, work on the restructuring with the doc sig. Uh, thinking about my schedule, I'm doing a webinar on Wednesday. So it may not be till Wednesday that I get I get at this. Is that okay with everybody, or is that too too long a delay and we need it sooner than that? So it would be like potentially Thursday we'd review it in our in our session. I think that would be fine. Agreed. That's fine with me too. Okay. Great. Excellent. Anything else on timeline for merge reviews? Thanks for the, the question, Kristen, and very much. Sure. If you need help with some of the restructuring the page, um, feel free to reach out. Maybe I can help a little bit with that too, just to help. Thank you. Yeah. Well, and certainly I, I, I will probably come begging for your reviews sure. because <laughs> structural, structural changes like this inevitably need human beings who look at it and say, oh, you yeah, that was technically correct, but you butchered it. Or, yeah. <laughs> gee, that was technically correct, but it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, sure. I, I, I can definitely help with that. Great. All right. Next topic, run as user 1000, Marky. So I ran this on I did this three ways. I ran this on Linux and I didn't have the problem. I ran it on Mac and I didn't have the problem. When I ran this on Windows, which I am a complete noob when it comes to Windows, uh, I, I did run into the problem. So I'm wondering if it's a Windows only uh, issue. I have pinged somebody else that uh, I pinged Alex and asked if Alex could uh, take a look at this and try running it on Windows to see if he sees any uh, abnormalities because he's he's more advanced at Windows than I am. And uh, I still haven't heard back, but I did just want to give an update. 
Thanks, Maki. And You're things welcome. I'm using Windows, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think for now that you'll be fine to just continue running as user zero for uh, your for your work. Okay. I also wanted to add one other thing to the agenda that I completely forgot, and I am going to wait till you're done typing and then I will say it. In the meantime, I'm also going to ping somebody. I'm set. Go ahead. Uh, the transfer of org admin and mentor that has not been done yet. I'm pinging Oleg. I kind of forgot about it last week because of CD con. Right. Great. Any other topics we need to review in our session today? I think we can call ourselves done then. If no other topics, the recording of the session will be will be posted to the DocSig probably in an hour or two. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.